group of plants that have really become popular are succulents, like what we have right here. Now there are a couple of reasons why people are really starting to like these plants. They're easy to take care of, and there are a lot of really unique, unusual, just really cool varieties that are very attractive. So very attractive plants, easy to take care of. You can see why people are really starting to like these plants. Now succulents are easy to take care of because they don't require a lot of water. Most succulents are native to very dry areas like deserts or other low rainfall areas. So they have to survive extended periods with no rainfall. And they do this by storing water in their very fleshy leaves and stems. That's usually how you can tell a succulent because of the swollen or thick fleshy leaves and stems. Right here I've got the leaf of an aloe vera plant, a very common house plant that is a succulent. And you can see that uh, that water starting to ooze out there. Of course, the aloe vera juice has lots of those phytochemicals that help ease the pain of scrapes, cuts, and sunburn. But uh, the leaves do hold an incredible amount of water. Now, if you think about cactus plants, you might think, well, are cactus succulents? They are. They also store a lot of water in their trunks or their leaves. And a plant like a cactus is considered a succulent, but us horticulturists have a saying to distinguish the difference between cacti and succulents. It, we explain that all cacti are succulents, but not all succulents are cacti. To be a cactus, you have to actually belong to the cactaceae or the cactus family, whereas succulents come from several different plant families. So once again, all cacti are succulents, but not all succulents are cacti. But there are some succulents that, uh, that do try to mimic cacti, like this pincushion euphorbia we have down here. You can see it looks very similar to the cactus. Succulents are great plants for containers. Outside in the summertime, our containers dry out so much quicker than plants in the ground. So if you put a succulent in one of your containers, you don't have to worry about the watering quite as much. Now, when it comes to the soil mix for containers, I don't use anything different in my uh, succulent soil mix. I use the same mix that I use for all my other plants. I just, I just don't water it that much. And outside, what I usually do with my succulents in their containers is water them about every other week. What you don't want to do is water them too much. One of the easiest ways to kill a succulent plant is to overwater it and get some root rot started. Metal containers are great for growing succulents. They can handle the heat much better than your, your typical plant. Sometimes I'll see people with an old rusty wheelbarrow and they'll plant that with begonias or something like that and they just don't get really good results because those plants can't handle the heat coming off that hot metal. But the succulents are great at doing that. We plant them in old rusty cans or buckets or things like that. Right here we've got the tray out of the top of a metal toolbox and that is all planted with little succulent plants as well. But no matter what type of container you use, make sure you have drain holes in the bottom. If you want to propagate some of your succulents, it's really easy to do. All you really need is a, uh, a pot full of sand that is kept just, just barely moist. And you can usually root a piece of a stem or even a piece of a leaf in uh, uh, certain plants. It's a good idea when you take the stem of one of your succulents to let it sit for about five or six days and let some callus develop on the, uh, the wound where it is cut away. It's sort of like a scab or something like that. Those cells kind of harden up and can, can kind of keep the plants from rotting in certain situations. But I'm just gonna remove some of these lower leaves here and don't really need any rooting powder or hormone or anything like that. We're just gonna insert that into this, this pot of sand that's kept uh, barely moist. Here's a good example of how easy it is to root succulents. This is the leaf of a calancho plant. And this broke off the mother plant a couple of months ago. And we just set it in the bottom of the pot 
and it sat there and it got a little bit of moisture and you can see all the roots started and sort of a little cluster of rooted cuttings coming off this calancho. We can take those and uh, we can separate those and put those in our pot of sand and create a lot more plants.